What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We are here in the beautiful Bloomington, Indiana at Indiana University. This place is beautiful. Absolutely loving my time here so far. This is gonna be part one of a three-part series, best of three match play versus Sam Yi at the beautiful Foul course here at Indiana University. This course is an absolute beast, 7,908 yards with a rating of 80.2 and slope of 155. That is absolutely insane. Really enjoying walking around campus here. Beautiful setting for a college campus. And with the fall foliage in full effect right now, not a better time to come visit Bloomington, Indiana. Now we're gonna go downtown, get a little food. Been wanting to try some local barbecue, so we're gonna try Smokeworks. Been hearing some great things about it. Really looking forward to the Smokeworks barbecue. Comment below, let me know. What's your go-to barbecue plate? Hey Zach, would you be mad if I ordered the Cali Turkey Club sandwich? That was some incredible barbecue right there. Highly recommend Smokeworks here in Bloomington, Indiana. Now it's time to go to the foul course and play some golf. Really enjoyed that barbecue last night, and we are ready, primed and ready to go for match number one here in Bloomington, Indiana at the Foul Course. Like we've already discussed, this course is a beast, and it starts right here on hole number one, par five, 615 yards, dog leg to the right. We're playing it roughly from 8,000 yards on the scorecard at 7908. However, <laughs> we're on the back of every single box here today. We're gonna tee it high, let it fly, right here number one. I haven't obviously played the course yet, but it seems like it's going to be somewhere you have to really position your golf ball in good spots. It's not necessarily the widest fairway, so you got to position well. All right, down the right side. Should play really well. Yeah, good ball. That's what we're looking for right there. A little baby butter cut. We're not reaching it. It says 206 to clear these bunkers. And guys, I gotta tell you, it looks way shorter than 206, but you gotta, I gotta carry that. So going over those bunkers is my line. Oh no. Fading just a little bit. Too far right. Definitely over the bunker. It's just gonna be right rough. All right, so I've got 315 here. Like I said, it is a chilly day. I'm not gonna be reaching it here. I'm just gonna be laying up there. Probably gonna hit a, I'm gonna say 220 yard shot. So just a little four iron, kind of just over those bunkers there. Do the same thing Sam did, too far right. We are both in the rough down there. We're playing cart golf. So I have 130 yards, slightly uphill. I feel like the wind is helping and my lie is good. Go. What a shot. Oh my goodness. That was pretty Thought for a second that might go in. Wow, great shot. You fix your divots, kids, because you want the course to be in good shape. You have to fix a divot and fix plus one. So if you come here to Bloomington, uh -huh. this is the man right here. Say hello to Pete, everyone down in the comments. Sam, Yep. I did throw that one in there tight on you. You that one good. So, a little pressure early. It looks like I'm gonna have to make this. 
travel, 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 travel. Oh, I almost got to where Zach is. Uh, Let's go. Tweeter here on one. That feels so good. And Sam, I'm gonna go ahead and give you that. I am one up through one. Love to see it here in Bloomington real quick. This green here, this being such a huge basketball area in town, this is only like three feet short of being a regulation size court, basketball court, and it is a perfect rectangle. So corner, 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 corner. I've never played a green that is a rectangle, perfect rectangle. That is pretty awesome. And when you come here, everything is IU. <laughs> the cards, even in the bathrooms, yeah. even Sam. Even me. Even, even Sam. Me. Even that Indiana is fan. something. Let's go. I'm shocked that this golf course is under $100. Right now, how would you compare the quality of golf that you get for under 100 in comparison to LA? It's night and day. I'm paying 100 over $100 out in LA, and the, it's Muni's. This yeah. is way more than a Muni. This is amazing. I can't believe it's under 100 bucks. Yeah, it's absolutely absurd. We're on to number two. We're gonna walk over to the tee box here. A, an absolute beast, the number one handicap hole on the course as well. What a great looking hole here. So far, both these tee shots remind me of a really special championship course. Like you could host major events here for sure. 100%. 5.30, slightly up the hill, and we're pretty much gonna be taking it straight at that big tree you see there, kind of in the middle of the fairway. Heading down the right side, it's trying to draw against the wind. Did hop left. I think it got around the bunker. I was getting a little worried right there. I'm gonna be in the rough. It landed in the fairway it looked like, just hop left, we'll have to see. So I got 270 to green. Actual is like 263 or something like that, playing uphill. So yeah, I'm laying up with a three wood on a par four to the right. <laughs> and you didn't hit that drive bad. I didn't hit it bad. Um, I didn't hit it Zach Radford good, but I didn't hit it bad. Fly ball, fly. Oh, right. so bad. In between the bunkers, I think it stopped short of the one. All right, so I've got a 215 front edge and like 228 flag. I hit that drive pretty decent. And we've got a long ways home here. I'm gonna go with a three iron and hope I catch a little bit of a flyer. Four was gonna be too much here. So three iron, let's see if we can't give ourselves a birdie putt. Go, go. I'm gonna go ahead and say, Sam, that was not the wise choice. This is some thick rough. <laughs> that was thick, even though the ball was sitting there. We both have some work to do. This hole is starting to feel like a par five for sure. Kind of a decent lie, kind of not, but just gonna have to trust it. Get up there on the green. Really not bad. Gives himself a solid look for par. Not the greatest lie. Let's see if we can't knock something up there. Sorry for the shaky camera. Don't drink two Red Bulls before you golf or you will have some shaky hands while you're supposed to be filming. That ball from my angle looked like it almost flew in the hole. Don't stop short on me. Do not do it to me, Sam. <laughs> that was in the heart. That would have been quite the par right there. And did I just did, did exactly did what I shouldn't it? have done. Oh, uh, we'll Ooh, give you that. Short. That's good, pick it up. Thank you. In with the five. 201, slightly downhill. This is an awesome par three right here. 
I really like how they do the bunkering here. It just fits in to the course. Super unique. I've never seen bunkers like this ever. I think I'm gonna hit a little five iron in there, a little downhill. Greens are firm, so we're gonna roll out. So, nice little five in there. Hold. 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 Get through it. Got six iron here. The wind has kind of calmed down, at least for the moment. So I'm gonna play it like around 200. Hold it right there. All right, maybe right edge. So those of you that are from California like me, you'll know that there's not much of zoysia grass. This is pretty awesome. Pretty nippy lies, I love it. That is a nippy lie if I've ever seen one right there. Bite. Sit. Wow, wow. Misread that one. <laughs> you love to see that from the short game right there. Good save, sir. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. See if you can't get your rock rolling. I right gotta get here. it rolling. Did not hit it firm, broke more than I thought. Welcome to Indiana. <laughs> Two down, sir. Two down, and we run across 460 uphill, par four. And everything funnels left to right. So we gotta just focus on our target. It's probably gonna be just left where that third bunker is and hopefully it just trickles right. That ball was hit so straight, just a very slight draw, pretty much perfection. Hold it, don't fade for me, easy. All right, another one from the rough. Uh, I hit it solid, so hopefully you got a little distance out of it, but that one is right rough. 198 playing 195, it's a little downhill. I gotta land in the front, I'm gonna expect it to roll out. Yeah, I got a little choke five iron. Uh, I'm just gonna just hit a smooth one in there. Don't wanna be long. Hold. All right, like I said, right rough, but really not too bad here. If you're gonna miss it one direction, this isn't bad. Got 169 adjusted 165, so playing downhill slightly. I'm gonna go with the nine iron here. Cut for me just a little. All in all, Happy with the swing. Doesn't look like it quite got back to that back shelf, but you know, we got a putt for bird. There's like so many options that I could do here, but there's like, I'm gonna go low, I'm gonna go high. I think I'm gonna go mid flight, kind of try to check it into the hill and just let it trickle down. Oh, overdid it a little bit. We will take that. Hey, pars on this course, we will take. Hold that line, hold that line. Dude, what a putt, what a par. Hey, it was just a matter of time. Thank you, sir. You're gonna get that rock rolling. Thank you, sir. Great par. What a putt by Sam right there. I remain two up through four. This course is phenomenal. And if y'all are interested in coming to Bloomington, check out the link down below, visit bloomington.com. It's a great resource for hotels, restaurants, courses. We're on a number five, par four, 390. I'm going driver and our line's gonna be pretty much right over the carts there. That's not good.
Would that be all right? I was a little more right than he wanted, but it should get over the corner. That's the swing we're looking for, Sam. A little butter cut. Smacked. That was right where I was looking. All right, All right. Sam's a little right here. A little tree trouble. He's got about 90 yards here. So if he could get something kind of underneath that far tree right there, trundling on. Got a little eight iron here. Hopefully I could just get this up there somehow. Down. That almost went in the hole and then just trundled off the back edge. I had a little twigs I got to think right there. I had like <laughs> two or three twigs up there, so. 75 yards here. This is a very tricky little pin up front and the green is sloping away. Got lob wedge. Let's throw one in there tight. Oh no, that was so close to being so good. Oh my God. Goodness, that tells you how difficult that shot was. I mean, I felt like I was a foot from being a tap-in and I'm off the green with a crazy difficult chip. So there's like a spine right here. Everything to the left of it goes left. Everything to the right goes down into the valley here. And I am just off the green. That's Pete's ball there that you see. Sam, I think you're in better shape than I am, <laughs> but don't hit this chip too long yep. from here. What a chip. Dude, great chip. Thank That's you. good. That's like a foot, foot and a half. Pick it up, sir. Good par. What a par from over there. <sighs> Feels good to get par. So my ball was on the sprinkler head. Got relief. It's a lot of slope right here, and I've got to get this up and down to keep my two up lead. Oh, Sam, that was just, that was so, 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 so close to being just absolutely money. Still very happy with it, and I've got a putt for par. Oh, I didn't hit it, Sam. What are you doing? It's match play. Getting one back there, Sam. Yes. You're only one down now. Zach gave me a gift there. Well, Appreciate that. That is a very difficult green. Yeah, it and is. I would have been super happy with the up and down. Wish I would have gave my putt a little more pace because it was a good line. However, we are on to number six, extremely difficult driving hole, 470 yards. You really want to be in the fairway here coming into that green. Because we got wind going right a little bit, I feel. So we got to stick to the left side. I was hit really well. Hold. Down the right side. It could be fairway. Those last two drives were about as good as I was gonna hit them. Sam, you are currently two over for the round and I'm one over for the round. With the rating being 80.2, that is actually decent golf. Got a lot of golf left in this match. Yep. Did end up trundling into the rough here, but not a bad angle up the hill. What are you going with? Got 184 playing 195. So I'm going to hit a five iron just to the right. Um, it's going to come in low because it's on a down slope. So I have to avoid that rough. Hopefully it trickles on from the right side. Go. Go. Couldn't tell if it hopped up there or not. It's gonna I be don't close. know. I just know it's safe. All righty. I've got 162 up the hill. It says it's playing up to 171. I'm gonna go with an eight iron here. Just kind of smooth it. Oh boy. I thought that was so money. So my ball landed there, trundle, trundle, down to here. Really not too bad of a place to be. Chipping up the hill here and probably breaking a little to the right. And Sam right here. Sam made a great swing. Both of us thought we hit good shots. Yeah. It just played way uphill. Yeah. Great chip. 
Sam, your short game has been on fire lately. <laughs> that is good. I mean, that's Thank a you, sir. foot or Thank less. You. Great job. Little tip from there. I was in like a fescue lie. Lift your hands up and make the club kind of look like that. Then you won't get caught up. You don't the toe to go like that. So make it like that so it goes straight. Don't love to see that. Match is all square. I made back-to-back -back bogeys from perfect position, and hopefully that is the last of that. That should indicate how hard it is too. Even if you're in the middle of the fairway, you're not you're not sitting pretty. You got to still hit a crazy good shot. Absolutely. Absolutely. And now I'm welcome to number seven, part three, 259. That is absolutely crazy. Kind of a crosswind here. What club are you going with? I got a three with, sir. Okay. And I need all of it. <laughs> yes. Heading down the right. Some bunkers over there. Sam's not loving it. That's what you call a quit on your swing. I'm going three iron here. I'm going to try to hoist this one up. Leave it alone, wind. Leave it alone, wind. We're walking up here, and that pin's like in the middle of the green, roughly. You could have a pin all the way back there that plays borderline 300. That's crazy. It's a huge green. From back there, you don't think you have much green to work with. That pin almost, to me, looked like it was in the front. Right. It's actually in the middle. Just outside the bunker here, I am short. Maybe should have gone with the forward there. <laughs> I was playing a long ways. It's chilly here, so ball's not traveling quite as far as normal. Go, go. Oh, I thought that was gonna land a little firmer. Oh, that had so much sauce on it. Should have just kept going. Still not bad though. Oh, I just hit it right through the break. I didn't want to leave it short. <laughs> I thought that was in the heart the whole way. That didn't budge left. That's that good. Pick it up. Thank you. Nice. <sighs> good putt. <sighs> that was needed. All square, sir. Two to play. Number eight. Beast of a par four right here. Plays to the right, 515. 515. What in the world? Really playing like 530. Maybe 530. more because it's right into the wind. Yeah, it's gonna be a beast. So, this course has been so much fun to play, but tests every part of your game. Yeah. Absolutely unreal. I mean, you gotta hit great drives followed up by great long irons into these greens. Yeah. Then the greens are tricky as well. Absolutely loving it. Yeah, a good swing, kind of down the right side. Fly. Oh. <laughs> I am gonna be laying up on a par four. I do not have a good enough lie to go for it. So that's kind of a first. Never really thought I'd say I had to lay up on a par four, but you gotta do what you gotta do to beat Zach, right? So I gotta make my chances best. Yeah, good ball. All right, I've got 215 playing uphill to 221 into the wind. After a great drive, I don't know if I've ever said that on a par four. I've got three iron here. Let's see if we can't get a birdie putt. No, hold that line. All right. To be honest, I think it's in a decent spot. It is just right off the green. 
but hopefully kind of chipping up the hill. Sam's third shot here. It's on a good oh. line. Go, go. Really not bad. This is really a pretty good place to miss a shot into the screen. Got a little green to work with. Let's get this up and down. <laughs> Let's get off this bogey train. Oof. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. It's a good roll. Wow. Sam, I thought that was in again. <laughs> Getting robbed here today. I thought that was in. <laughs> we'll give you that one. All right. Oh, good that part. was big. Good that part. was big at this moment in the match. That par feels like a birdie. We are on to the final hole, match one, par five, 630 yards. Big hole for me. I need to, I need to tie it up. It's the only thing I can do. I'm dormied out, so. Got to focus, 6.30 par five. That's your best drive of the day right there. Yeah. That ball sounded compressed. That was finally a decent swing. Good ball there. Thank you. Oh, hold it, easy. All right, I saw it land. Not the drive we were looking for here to end match one in the tall stuff. Green sits off back in there. Our layup's gonna be in there. We are a long ways to the house from here. All right, with this lie, it is really kind of deep down in there. I need some loft. I'm not gonna be able to hit much more than a seven iron that I've got here. And we're just hoping to give ourselves a shot into the green. So good. I'm gonna be going, you see that tallest tree just straight ahead? Yep. It's kind of just where I'm gonna go. He hit that pretty much right where he was aiming. Maybe just a little right, but it should be in great shape there. 144 up the hill playing uphill to 155. Wind is helping. I think this is just gonna be a full nine iron here. Be a good number. 115 playing 120. Surprisingly enough, I got a wedge in my hand. I'm so grateful right now. Draw a little. It's got to go. It's up there. Hey, it's a birdie putt. This is the first time today that my ball and Sam's ball has found the putting surface for birdie on the same hole. This is my first green on reg. I don't think, I don't remember the last time I could think I hit one green in nine holes. I don't think that's ever happened actually. That tells you how tough this course is. It's tough. <laughs> break, break. Good speed. Good par. All right, we're in with the par. Sam has a putt for the tie, but this has to go. Did he really? Oh. oh! Dude, that was a great effort right there. I thought you had it. That was a good match. Good match, That was sir. a grind. That was. My back is a little achy right now. Well, that was so much fun. Hope you all enjoy coming along. Want to thank Visit Bloomington so much for having us out. The foul course is immaculate. Absolutely loving it. True test of the game. Really test all aspects of your game. You love that. I did end up winning one up against Sam. He's going to be coming for a little revenge on the back nine. As for me, the foul course, Bloomington, Indiana. Sam, we'll see you when we see you. Peace.